Hello, everyone. In the last lesson, we learned the installation and debugging skills of a DC power supply by utilizing the provided electronic components and analyzing the structures and working principles of single-phase bridge rectifiers and filter circuits. I hope you can follow the circuit diagram, read the process document carefully, and acquire an understanding of the structure, function, and working principle of each circuit component and circuit composition structure. In this lesson, you will be required to test components and assemble circuits according to the requirements. We are going to conduct practical training based on the knowledge we have required. This practical training will be divided into five parts, identifying components, testing devices, assembling circuits, debugging circuits, and cleaning the worksite. We will learn them one by one. Since we have learned the analysis and working principle of a single-phase bridge rectifier filter circuit, let's take a training now. 1. Identify the corresponding components according to the schematic diagram and fill in the parameters in the table below. 2. Use a multimeter to test the polarity and quality of diodes, electrolytic capacitors, and resistors. 3.1. Draw component layout diagrams based on circuit schematic diagrams. 3.2. Install the components. Insert the pins in the board according to the component layout diagram. 3.3. Assemble an electrical circuit, component installation. A. Weld components. Weld in the sequence of transformer, resistor, capacitor, and diode. B. Cut off the pins. Cut off the pins with a flat plier. C. Wiring. Use a power cord to weld each component correctly according to the circuit schematic diagram. D. Weld power cords and insert fuses. 4. Circuit debugging. A. Connect the power supply. Set the multimeter range to 250 VAC and measure the input power of the transformer's primary winding with a voltage of 220 VAC. B. Set the multimeter to the 50 VDC and measure the voltage of transformer secondary winding, the voltage applied to both ends of C1, and the no-load output voltage applied to both ends of C2, individually. Turn on the power to debug the circuit, use a multimeter to measure various circuit values, and record the measured values in the table below. 5. Clean the worksite, collect tools, and restore them neatly. Summary of precautions in practice. 1. When measuring voltage with a multimeter, the red lead is connected to the positive terminal, while the black lead is connected to the negative terminal. 2. The no-load output voltage is 22 volts DC. If the output voltage is unstable, fluctuations in the power supply voltage should be checked. The output voltage increases with the rise of the power supply voltage and decreases with the drop. If the output voltage is around 16 volts, it indicates that the filter capacitor is desoldered or damaged. If the output voltage is around 8 volts, it indicates that the filter capacitor is desoldered or damaged. A bridge arm of the rectifier bridge is desoldered, or a diode circuit is broken. Suppose the output voltage is zero and the transformer is not excessively warm. In that case, the testing transformer's primary or secondary windings may be disconnected or not connected stably, the fuse may be blown, or the power or rectifier bridge may be desoldered. Suppose the power is turned on, and the fuse immediately blows. It indicates a short circuit in the transformer's primary or secondary windings, a diode reversely connected, or a short circuit in the filter capacitor. FU1 blow refers to a short circuit on the transformer's primary side, FU2 blow refers to AC1 short circuit or reverse diode connection, and simultaneous FU1 and FU2 blow refers to a short circuit on the transformer's secondary side. 3. If diodes and filter capacitors are reversely connected, the diodes and filter capacitors may be burned out. 4. When welding components, tweezers can hold the solder leads, which is convenient for welding and good for heat dissipation. We have acquired the installation and debugging skills of a DC power supply by utilizing the provided electronic components and analyzing the structures and working principles of single-phase bridge rectifiers and filter circuits. That concludes this lesson.
Thank you, everyone.